In today's low poly illustrator tutorial, I've got some awesome and some useful tips that you want to know when making your next low poly design. Also, stay tuned at the very end of the video because Satori Graphics has reached 100,000 subscribers, which means there's going to be an awesome giveaway for you all to enter. First tip for a low poly design in illustrator is to try and get a high quality image to use as a template. Having a high quality image helps you gain more precise layouts of the triangles later in the low poly tutorial. But also, you're going to want to lock your image down in place, and the shortcut for that is Command or Control 2 on your keyboard. I do have some really interesting and some helpful tips for you in this low poly design tutorial, so follow along and you can use the image that I'm using linked in the description box below. We're going to want to have a stroke only selected in the color palette, and then choose a color that will be visible on your image. So for my pirate design here, I'm going to use pink for the lines. Now press P for the pen tool and draw out your first triangle. One of the problems that you're going to experience is that when you go to draw the next triangle, the pen tool might actually cancel out the existing points. And to get around this, hover your pen tool over the anchor point and then hold down shift and then click again. To quickly help you see what I'm talking about, when I make a triangle here with the pen tool, a round circle icon appears as I close the path. But then when I go to draw upon it again, there is a minus icon, and then when I click it, it cancels the path. So like I mentioned just now, just hold down shift when you see the minus icon, and then click again. This is how you can go around your image drawing your triangles very quickly for your low poly design. So using that tip to hold down shift, you can begin to make your low poly triangles for your design. However, you might notice that you get jagged and uneven edges as you can see on my design here. There's no need to worry however, because all you need to do is to select all of the triangles and then open up the stroke window. Now inside the stroke window, use the round join option, which is in the middle row of options. Now your triangles are going to be more evenly joined together. So when you finally have your triangles created for your low poly design in Illustrator, go ahead and take the live paint bucket tool, which is right here. But make sure you have every single triangle selected beforehand. Clicking the low poly triangles will turn the selection into a live paint group. Now this means that we can add color to our low poly design very easily and very quickly. To access colors, I'm going to open up the swatches window and then drag out a Pantone swatch library. But you can choose whatever swatch library that you want to use for your low poly design. And then it's just a matter of selecting a color and using the live paint bucket to drop that color onto a specific triangle. It's really that simple and the live bucket tool makes it very easy indeed. And we're nearly actually finished today, but stay tuned for a couple more tips in today's tutorial. Once you've added your color, drag the design off of the template background, and you're going to notice the strokes of the low poly triangles are still there. To actually remove this, go up to Object, and Live Paint, and then Expand. And then finally, ungroup everything and select the triangles before pressing backspace on your keyboard to delete them. You can then go in and add detail or missing aspects of your design. But there's one more option for you as a designer when making a low poly design in Illustrator. Ungroup the selection once again, and then you can go and add a gradient to a triangle. Adding a gradient to each individual triangle can make a specific style to your low poly design, so it might be something that you want to consider. And also pressing G on your keyboard will allow you to use the gradient tool. 
This efficiently manipulates the direction of the gradient and the look of your entire design. Thank you so much to everyone who's interacted with my videos and for all of the positive feedback that I get on my content. I love making videos for you all and I want to keep doing this into the future. And as a token of my thanks and my gratitude, I'm giving away two Wacom tablets. There's a link in the description box below that will take you to the giveaway where you can enter with up to four different ways. There's going to be two winners and the competition is international. It's also totally random because the winner is selected by Gleam's randomization software. So best of luck to everybody. And again, thank you for so much for enabling the channel to get where it is today and allowing me to do what I love doing. And here are the Wacom tablets that I've ordered. And as soon as they arrive to my residence, I'm gonna show them on a video. So two lucky people will be receiving one of these tablets after winning the competition. If you did enjoy today's video or you found it useful, let me know in the comment section below and of course subscribe to Tutorial Graphics if you want to keep raising your skills as a graphic designer. Have a great day everybody and until next time, design your future today. Peace.